More than 70 years ago, Missouri incorporated its first all-black city, Kinlock. In a time where racism was rampant and Jim Crow persisted, the North County town served as a safe haven. Well, in the decades since, thousands of people have left the city. In fact, it's now a target for illegal dumping and crime. But tonight, there's new hope. One man who called Kinlock home is counting on new investment to revive the city. The shameful, deplorable. As Kevin Stewart rides through Kinlock, he sees what is now a shell of what once was. Very family oriented community. Um, everybody knew everybody, even if you weren't related by blood. Uh, we were related, you know, just because we were neighbors. Stewart no longer lives in Kinlock, but still serves as the fire chief. Just 288 people live here now. Kinlock's become synonymous with blight. It's a dumping ground for those now calling this home. Kind of angers me and, uh, you know, you just kind of scratch your head and wonder, you know, what, what can, what more can we do? The town's history and its troubles have touched others like filmmaker Alana Woodson. For me, I became super attached to that place because I wanted, I wanted to know more about me. Woodson's dad grew up in Kinlock. He loved growing up in that area. He loved, you know, he talked about the mom and pop shops that he would go to and, and the ladies of the church. We grew up in a neighborhood where everybody knew you. That's everybody part of what inspired her Kinlock doc, which tells the story about Missouri's first black city. Hopefully we can still be something good. Hopefully they won't wipe us off the map. I learned, you know, my grandfather migrated up from, from Covington, Tennessee. Kinlock being one of the few places that black people could live. In 1948, Kinlock became the first African-American community to incorporate in Missouri. The majority of blacks came to the suburb in the 1920s. The East St. Louis race riots in 1917 drove black residents to the area, along with the great migration from the South. Notable figures grew up in Kinlock, including actress Jennifer Lewis, California Congresswoman Maxine Waters, and comedian Dick Gregory. One reason for Kinlock's decline actually comes from its neighbor, St. Louis Lambert International Airport. In the 80s, St. Louis owned Lambert started buying property to expand. One goal was to reduce the impacts of aircraft noise on the surrounding community. The buyouts removed hundreds of Kinlock's homes, reducing its land size. When you start taking away the people from communities and start closing schools and, and uh, you know, uh, shutting down different things, you know, the community kind of dissipates. From 1970 on, Kinlock seen double digit population decline. Things just kind of took a, a very bad turn. Now much of that bought out land is filled with illegal dumping. But Woodson and Stewart believe renovating this centerpiece of Kinlock could brighten things. The Kinlock County Park to me was pretty much the city square, the town square, where everything happened. Fixing this one-time hub is what St. Louis County Parks Director Tom Ott is aiming for. Renovating the park can really be a catalyst to help the neighborhood as well. The county has applied for $750,000 in federal grants. The county would match a portion of the money to help renovate Kinlock Park. There's a lot of interest in seeing this done. A new playground and baseball diamond would greet people as well as a walking trail. It deserves that. And so if, you know, the intent is to come in and redo this facility to kind of bring people back into that place, um, I think that fosters and cultivates the energy to kind of bring people back to the city. There is an unprecedented amount of potential here. Uh, we just need the resources. This chief, determined to protect and now save Kinlock, believes it can rise again. It was a thriving community. Uh, it'll never be what it was but it can be something great. If the Parks Department secures federal money, renovations would begin next year with a goal of finishing by 2024 or 2025. And revitalizations there can only help the entire St. Louis Absolutely. region. Absolutely.